and welcome, friends, to another exciting episode of Miss Misbehavior. Misbehavior. Today, I am your host of the 34th episode, Missy, and these are my lovely co-hosts. We have Ariana and Ronald. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what up, homie? And today we have four beers because last week, Ron swore up and down he had an amazing beer that he got from Twisted Twist. Rail. Is that what it was? Twisted, Twisted Rail. Rail. Twisted Rail Brewing, and I fucking he felt did like not bring it. I fucking felt like I was gaslighting myself. It was fucking pissing me off. And when I went home, it was sitting there in the fridge, cleverly hidden by a pizza box. And I was excited to try it, so he brought it today, and we're going to try that. But along with that, we have Brewing Project. Do I like Brewing Project? I don't know yes. If had yes, we have. Strawberry puff tarts. We've oh, had, that sounds amazing. Dude, we've had. No, we didn't have the straw, straw okay. habard. Right. I, th- there, I don't know. There's, the, the canner reminds me of something. We've had like puff berry or something Maybe like that. Maybe that's what it was a long time ago. Other one is the Somewhere in Particular Brewing's Escape to Somewhere Pina Colada Sour. And of course, our Dos Equis Mysterious Beerius, or as Ron likes to call it, the Mystery Bistery. I, I, I'm already excited. So I'm excited for the Pina Colada one. Okay. Future Slayer and Mega Berries Puff Tart is what we've had by them. I remember the Mega Berries Puff Tart. But the, the, the Pina Colada one, that one's got me going just because of uh, what's-his-face dying, Cheeseburger in Paradise guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slayer, that, that makes, you know, can be halfway attributing to him in a way. Yeah. But first, we are going to try the Spike Driver, mm. which mm. is... Like it's IPA, it's like an award winning. They've got all these medals for it. And isn't it a barley IPA, barley wine IPA, which is really weird? To it's say. something different. I just remember that when I had it, it was like not normal colored. I remember you saying barley wine. No, it was IPA. like a barrel aged IPA there was a or something aged like one, that. Yeah, uh, I think but, but, maybe that's what it is barrel aged yeah. IPA, and that's but they had like barrel aged variant. and... Let's see. Yes. It's pretty normal color there, Ron. Were you drunk? I was very drunk, but I had a bunch of stuff too, so. Let's see here. And he got the wrong one. It's possible. But hey, I gaslighted myself into thinking I didn't get it or I did get it, and I was losing my mind, so what do I know? It smells kind of barely aged. It smells barely aged, like, um, almost like a Jack Daniels, really. Slowly, so there's yeah. lots of head to it. The head looks nice. It's got a nice golden dehydrated piss color. Yep. God damn it. Really nice orangish amber. Dude, that's so fucking annoying. Ariana's has like the perfect head on it that almost matches the beer glass head on our logo. It does. It looks fucking nice. It's a pretty No, color. this is a Spike Driver American IPA. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Well, so, Dude, I had like a lot of beer there, okay? What was the IPA? Like, I know I remember seeing... It was like a weird IPA or something. There I don't it. see That's it, the, though. Spilt. So anyway... What's going on, kids? Hmm. Smells good. I don't know, man. Ooh. It's, it's got that weird watered-down flavor that the rest of the beers had, but it's good. See, some of this I still wonder if it's because it came straight out of the tap into the cans and it's not like a normal canning process. This is also kind of why I didn't want these to sit for terribly long because I didn't know how, you know, bottling process versus canning like this would differ the flavors. It tastes IPA-ish, but it's got a caramely taste to it. And I guess that would be like with the golden color to it. Let's see. It's very nice. Do they put the ABV on the can on this one or not? No. Um, I could have just looked at that. I was just looking at it. On your thing here. Uh, 7.5. Got a 7.5% yeehaw. That's pretty all right. That's a good hit. That's, that's a good number for an IPA to hit. It right. tastes like IPA. Tastes like a... Nothing too important or special, though. I would still give it, like, mm, a three. 
I could have swore we saw like a barrel aged IPA or something like there that. Was a nice, there was and a I don't spike s- driver and something. I think Dude, the other one was a spike driver. But too. I don't see it on the fucking picture that he put on Facebook that we saw. It was like, oh yeah, I want to try that. Well, there was like a whole set, a whole big list of them there. That's right. It would be in the picture. See, now I'm just looking for pictures. Well, I guess we're just going to have to go back up there, guys. That's right. Road trip. You I'm down. Files and links. We're going to go with the media. Mur, 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 mur. So the other day, I was sitting here, and my fucking tongue started swelling up for no reason. Yeah. Like, I had just eaten... Doritos with cheese melted on it and a pop and like it's shit that I normally eat you know it's not anything different than what I what, like might normally eat and I'm just sitting here and like my I bit my tongue but I mean it swelled up like two or three times the size and I'm like there's no way that me biting my tongue made it swell up that much and then it went down like five or six hours later maybe it did Dude, I would. It seems like an allergic reaction. That's like the third time that's happened to me. It's like the, uh, what it is. like whatever the hell the com- chemical was that was on all those gummy worms or sour patch kids or whatever that was. Do no, what? Remember when? I remember you talking about a time you ate a bunch of gummy worms or sour patch. Kids no, and it was it was uh, okay. sour Smarties. It was sour something. It was Smarties, and I think the time before that it was Smarties, and this past time it happened it was Smarties and macadamia nuts. And then the time before that, it was sour Smarties and maybe like, maybe those Lifesaver mints or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Some other kind of candy. So I was like, maybe it's the Smarties because I ate those both times. And then this time, I didn't eat those. So I, I don't know. The Smarties. It's fucking weird. Let's uh, so let's see. see. Um, I'm not able to find this just It's okay because I've got the original pictures. Yes. yes do, 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 do. Braille Sours, that's tap list one. Pale Ales IPAs. Barrel aged spike driver. I bet I know what happened. You got the regular spike driver. She gave me the regular spike driver and I had the barrel aged there because it was definitely a green color. That's upsetting. That little bitch. Barrel aged IPA. This is not a, that's funny. That's a very swollen tongue. I know. It was like only half of my tongue, and I was looking at the tongue, and I was like, was this yesterday or? Uh, Sunday. This is what we'll refer to as the worst or greatest lesbian heart on ever. It's like, it's always half of your tongue, though, is what's weird. I know, and I'm trying to think, like, I feel like it was, I can't remember if it was the same side this time or if it was a different side, but yeah, it's fucking weird. That's happened three times now in the past year, and my friend's like, you should go to the doctor, because apparently there's a bunch of different things it could be. That's probably true. It tongue, could be, huh? Tongue cancer. It could be tongue cancer. Interesting. Well, I remember like eons ago, I used to keep, I was, I would get like ridiculous badass migraines where I never got them before. It was just awful fucking migraines. This is way before I got like fat blood pressure medicine type shit. But what it turned out was the like Minute Maid pink lemonade, regular lemonade, and then there was like whatever the health preservative they put in those because I would drink that when I was at work trying to get trying not to drink so much pop. The pink lemonade had it worse, and that was something I was bad allergic to, and I just get ridiculous migraines than an hour of drinking one of those. How did you figure that out? Just from did you like figure it out from a doctor, or did you like I figured it out by like I would drink one and I felt like shit, and I'm like, oh my god, what the hell's wrong with me? And then over time, I'm just like it only happened when I was doing those. It was around. I was around when I was 30 and I was like losing weight and I was like eating. That was the other thing that I discovered. They had like these like 100 calorie like Oreo cookie packs and shit like that. And there was some preservative in those that was doing it to me also. Oh man, that would suck. Yeah. So Oreos I was like, well, amazing. diet food's going to kill me. I'd rather be fat. It was, he was doing diet stuff. That's gross. Dude, you remember that shit. I was like, it was, you know, I was like 29, 30, and I was like all skinny and shit. I do remember you losing weight and doing like, shit to exercising. I like started to have like the, the formulation of like abs and shit, and you could see like my hips. And like April would like would bitch whenever we'd go to hump. She's like, I feel your hips and we're humping. I don't like that. Weird. I think that's probably hot. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like it. I don't know. She just liked to complain a bitch. That's a thing. Well, you know, she's your ex. What's she supposed to do, bitch? But she was with you, so that's what she's not supposed to do. Yeah, well, you know. 
But, you know, I was all skinny and in shape and buff, and I've often thought I could go back to that. And I'm like, so what would I have to give up to go back to that? I'm going to have to give up. You don't up. have to give up anything. You just have to not be such a fat ass when you do those things. No, like, it, it was like, I stopped drinking pop entirely because, like, even at meals, because when I was, like, calorie counting, that was a place where it was just, like, a massive sink of calories for the food I could eat. But you could just have them, like, sporadically, like, once or twice a week. Yeah. So, like, for me, it was this weird, like, sugar addiction thing. Like, I, I would get that, and I'm like, oh, man, that sugar was that, that sugar was good. I want some more. Uh-huh. Oh. That's, that's pretty much how it is. And it was just one of those deals where it's like, mm. I, I, you know, once I started, it was like, oh, man, this is, why is this Coke so sweet? But God, it's fucking good. So You just have to cultivate the self-control, which is difficult, but can be done. Yeah, it sucks. So I read somewhere that there's two types of people with sugar, and one of them is, like, people that can actually eat a little bit of sugar, and they're good. And then the other person is somebody that has to keep eating and eating and eating, and I am definitely the right. second category. I do that, too. I think it's like a dopamine chase. I think so. And also, um, my friend Lindsay thinks that maybe that my tongue swelling up is some kind of sugar intolerance because apparently, like, that can be a thing because last week, well, like, for the past week or so, I've been cutting down on sugar. I haven't been eating as much sugar, and then I drank that pop, and she's like, maybe it's from drink like, sugar, you know? I'm like, maybe. Like, your body's reacting all fucked up to having a process more insulin or something? I don't know. Maybe. Do not know. It's fucking weird, though. Super fucking weird. What do you guys think of this beer? I like it. Mm-hmm. It's not a. It's not the, what the I'm barrel aged. I'm because it's not what I wanted, and it's also just IPA. Like, yeah. I'm, it's like it's like a watered down IPA. It's not that good. They won a bunch of awards for it, and it's still just as good an IPA as I remember. They won a bunch of, like I, it's it's got a nice caramely finish, but it's for. It doesn't IPA have like the IPA. Penny's rubber bands flavor. Right, but it still has that bitter, like, yuck. I think it has a slight Penny's Rubber Bands flavor. No, it's a little IPA, but I enjoy it. I like it. I think it. it has a little bit of floral yeah. to it. Was there any more in the can? Yes. <clears throat> Ew. So, Missy says a caramely finish. Caramely floral what else did we say well-rounded hey ipa bitter nice head see floral. to me this one is com- to me this one is a very slammable ipa i don't say that about ipas often but i feel like i could throw back a bunch of these i would not want to throw back any more of these Driver. i could drink i could drink some i mean i could but i think they're it, i don't know i'm not a fan I'm just disappointed that it wasn't the barrel-aged one. Mm-hmm. I missed what all else we said. I got caramely, floral, well-rounded, and heady. Well-carbonated, bitter. yes. Bitter. she said bitter. bitter. That's what it was. Let's see. Then. That last mouthful, I can almost get like a slightly tobacco kind of a taste. Almost. Mm. Well, what would you rate it then? I See what I did there? Three, and I almost sink. I'm gonna go a four on it because I, I liked would it. Go with a two and a half. I go with a four. I liked it. Two and a half. I think a three point five. Ooh, we're Thick. hitting, we're hitting like a we're hitting a three five average then. Ha ha. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I like the the floral the florally flowery taste. Hmm. I think it's kind of good. And I think it's kind of a refreshing a little bit. Very. I still don't like the flavor of it. It's just yuck. It makes me vomit a little bit. That's okay. We all have our differences of opinion. That's right. Even if they're wrong. I, I just, I, I don't like IPAs at all, and that's very, like... Very IPA-ish. Right. Like, if I'm going to be forced into drinking an IPA, it's going to be super IPA, and it's, like... Too IPA ish for being like you're chewing on a beer. Like you're chewing on a pine cone IPA. It well, you know, it just it tastes too normal Mm -hmm. with that IPA flavor. Like I don't like the two flavors mixed. Hmm. It should just be super bitter IPA and not anything mixed with it. Okay. Well, it was worthwhile experiment and I proved that I wasn't just gaslighting myself, I was just dumb. 
gaslighted myself. I'm just stupid. Well, so what did we do this last weekend, my dear ladies? Mm. We got a phone call from a bill collector or somebody just wanting to talk. I feel like it's a, a web developer co- company that says, we are an Indian-owned web developer company. Miss Davis, is this you? And then they want to... Hello, we are an Indian... An Indian-based web developer company. We would very much like to develop your web. Yes. We noticed you have this website, blah, blah, blah. Would you like to show, would you like to show us pictures of your bobs and vagina? What are we talking about? The phone call I was getting. I didn't hear anything about a phone call. Oh, Ron said something. something. And we're getting a phone call because I, my phone was ringing. Oh. So what did you guys do last weekend? I want to hear all about your Lady Earl concert. We went to Taj Sultana. And she's like, she just does a whole bunch of hippie music, kind of like... She's Australian, and what I recently learned is that basically she's called a looper, and it's because she's just continuously playing, going from one song to the next, and you, it's like, I myself couldn't tell when she was starting a new song. It was just, it seemed like one big, long, like, song. How long I feel was like, it? I feel like, she, yeah, pause between songs a little bit. I thought the looping was because she'd play, like, play the instrument for a minute and have it recording and then she'd loop in Maybe the next instrument and do, then yeah but it just it seemed like she didn't do very much of a pause and she just kind of like went from one to the next but yeah that's what she did too which was really cool how long did she do that um so like, it seemed like she did it for like almost an hour or an hour and a half i think it was closer that's to like, two hours wow that because could... she did it and then that's like where she ended up taking like a, a, a longer pause and then she brought in and pe- other people playing instruments whereas before like for about the first hour she did pretty much all by herself she had her sound oh, system yeah. and she would get her sound system going and then she basically would get it you know where it was looping and then she would play her instrument like you know she would do a saxophone she would do it, like, oh, so she is like stringed instruments. Okay, so I get she it. So would, like, like loop that, and then she would sing. Oh, I get it. So she's like, you know, she'll like do a beat like boom, 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 boom on the drums. Get that looping, and then she'd switch yeah. over to like Basically, another yeah. instrument. Yeah. While that same boom, boom, boom was going. Yes. Yep. And so basically, she had it looped, so that would make sense as to why it's actually called looping. But um. That's cool. So, she, but yeah, she would do it all by herself, and she did that for like the first hour to a little bit more than an hour then that's where she ended up having like a major break and then she actually that's... bought in a, brought in a few of her people who actually play instruments and they were in the back that would take some fucking stamina to do that for like a whole ass hour it would and then like they left and came she came back by herself again for yeah. a little bit at the end it, it's i feel like maybe she did that by herself for an hour and then they played she played for another hour and a half at the end with those guys and then by herself again yeah it was it was a good concert, so, like, we were probably... The whole concert was probably about three hours long. Right, yeah. It was a pretty good time. And then there was a band called Gojo that opened. And they were actually pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. Did Although they I smell like the, oranges and wear the gritty hand soap? Yeah, I thought the guy had, like, a, his voice sounded like nail, nails on a chalkboard or something. He Missy liked that. his voice, so... I did. I thought he was all right. Like, I said, he sometimes, like... Like, not, like, all the time, because, like, I... I some of, like he sounded like the fray somewhat, just his voice, not the, the music style or anything else about them, just his voice. Their music style reminded me of something, but I can't think of what it is. Like it reminded me of a band, maybe. 